Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Dutch Crochet. Today I'm going to show you yet another fingerless gloves tutorial. And if you want to see all my other fingerless gloves, then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. So today I want to show you how to crochet these fingerless gloves and they are so cute. See, they sparkles. Yep. They are very easy to do, you can follow even if you're a beginner. I will go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing along the way. So, let's begin. First a little about the materials. For the yarn I've used this beautiful Moonwalk. This is from Hobby. And you can see all the info right here. This yarn only recommends knitting needles. Apparently you're not supposed to crochet with this yarn. But I'm a bit of a rebel. You can see it's a weight one, super fine. So I guess we will be using a small hook for this. Yep. I will write down in the description how much yarn you will need for this. So I used a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and some scissors and then a tapestry needle. Before I begin, I leave about 20 centimeters of yarn you will need this for later, and then I will do the slip knot. Make a loop with your yarn, take the long end of the yarn behind the loop, and row it from the middle with your hook, and pull. Then we chain 37. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. And we just keep chaining until we have 37 chains. When we have 37 chains, we will now begin working into these chains. We will skip the first chain, move on to the second chain, this one, and then we will do one single crochet into this chain. So insert the hook in the second chain and single crochet. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then you have your first single crochet. Find your next chain down here on the bottom, insert the hook and single crochet, so yarn over, Pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. A single crochet in the next chain, this one. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. And you just continue with one single crochet in every chain all the way across. This one is the next, do a single crochet and continue all the way across. When you're all the way across, it looks like this, and you should have 36 single crochet. Remember, we chained up 37 and we skipped the first one, so you should have 36 stitches. Now we will turn the work. So, you chain one to turn, yarn over, and pull through the loop. Then we turn, and then we begin crocheting this second row. From now on, we will only be working through the back loop of the stitch. We will skip this turning chain we just did. This is not a stitch. We will move on to the first actual stitch and we will only be working through the back loop of the stitch. You see, this is the entire stitch and this is the back loop of the stitch. We will only be working through this back loop. All right, so skip your turning chain, insert the hook through the back loop and single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's a back loop single crochet. Now we find the next stitch, this one, and only work through the back loop of the stitch. So insert the hook like this and single crochet. And we continue like this with one back loop single crochet in every stitch. So insert the hook in the back loop of the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Continue like this all the way across. Now when you're all the way across, you finish row two. We, you will now begin row three. First you chain one to turn. Then you turn. And then you repeat row two. So. You skip this turning chain, move on to the second stitch and insert the hook in the back loop of the stitch and single crochet. 
So you will continue with one back loop single crochet in every stitch. And you will just be repeating row two again and again until your glove is big enough. So one back loop single crochet in every stitch, then chain one and turn and repeat this step. I recommend that you count your stitches and make sure you don't lose any on the way. I did 48 rows in total and this fits around my wrist like this. You can adjust if it doesn't fit you. You can see this is 18 centimeters wide and the other one is about 17 centimeters. So now I will cut the yarn. So find your scissors and cut it. Just leave just a bit of yarn for sewing. Then you will pull this yarn through and then fold it on the middle like this and then thread your needle because we will now sew it up. You can choose to do a, a row of single crochet or slip stitches if you don't have a tapestry needle or if you just prefer this. Now I will sew them together so make sure the edge are completely even on top. Then I will just sew this up and I will do a little bit extra on top because there's a lot of pressure up here. This is up here. Other than that, I will just sew for a bit. And up here, I will do about three and a half centimeters. I will only sew for three and a half centimeters because it's just this part right here. Then I will um, weave in the end, secure the yarn and weave in the end. Then we cut the yarn and then we have this first part up here. Then remember all the yarn we left in the beginning. We will need that now. So thread this and then begin from the other side down here. Make sure the ends are completely even down here and then start crocheting. Sorry, <laughs> yes, crochet if you are doing that, but start sewing all the way up to the thumb. But remember leaving a bit of a gap for the thumb. And then up here you will as well weave in the end. So secure the yarn and weave in the end and then cut it. The gap for the thumb I've done five centimeters wide. So you will stop sewing about here and weave in the end. Then turn it around just like this. And then you can put it on. Then make another one. And that's it. That's how you do it. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon.